All right, I thought I'd do a quick video on bearing removal of your loophole. So as you'll notice, one is shielded, one is not. The first run all have shielded bearings. Uh, going forward, all bearings will be shielded. And at that point, you can decide to remove your shields, keep them on, whatever you'd like to do. I know some people have different preferences. So today I'm going to show you how to remove your bearing, whether you want to remove it to replace your bearing or even to maybe do some polishing on your loophole or some anodizing or whatever you might do. So I'm actually going to be replacing this one today, but I'm going to use this one to actually show you the lip on the loophole. So the bearing presses up against the lip, so this side has no lip, if I can get that to focus. And then this side has the lip. So it's just a tiny, tiny lip. So it's actually a little hard to see. But the first thing that you're going to want to do is heat it up. And also, let me tell you exactly what you're going to need for your bearing replacement. So obviously, you're going to need a tool to push out the bearing. And all this is is a piece of plastic. Uh, it's actually a joint protector for a pool cue when it's a little bit larger than the bearing, than the inside diameter of the bearing, so it's easy to push out. Uh, some Q-tips for the Loctite. A razor blade to actually clean off the Loctite from the inside of the bearing because the, the fit is very tight, so you'll need to get it all out. And you can also use acetone, but just for quickness today, I wanted to, uh, I'll use a razor blade. Your new bearing, shielded bearing. And then, as I mentioned with the Q-tips, Loctite 242, blue Loctite. They, you don't have to get this big of a bottle. Uh, they sell smaller, like toothpaste size. And then a hair dryer. Or you can also use a heat gun, which would probably do it a lot quicker. But this works just fine. So let's go ahead and get down to it. <clears throat> you don't need a piece of granite. Um, however, if you have one, it can be handy. So I want to make sure that... I have the larger side facing down, so you can see this does not have the lip. So I have that facing down, move some of this forward. And I'm going to put the hair dryer on high, this will be loud for a minute. Uh, you really only need to hold on there for about 30 seconds. Okay, I don't know if that was exactly 30 seconds, but we're going to go ahead and try. Be careful, it's very hot. So then I just put my tool here, and you can use anything you have around the house. Um, really, you just need to something larger than the inside diameter. Oh, and you see it popped out pretty easy. Ouch. And then your bearing's out. So old bearing, new bearing, I'm going to try to handle this a little carefully. Use that there. You can also use gloves if you'd like. So you can see some of the residue. All I'm doing here is... on a flat, I'm just making it flat, and I'm literally just scraping it. And I think you'll be able to see that lip. Kind of see that lip there. So just scraping that leftover Loctite in there. It doesn't take much, like I said, the fit is very, very tight. And don't mind how beat up this one is, it's uh, been through a lot of testing and different bearings. Okay, that should do it. You can also use acetone. If you don't want to mess with a hair dryer or anything, you can use acetone to soak the entire spinner in. Um, it actually breaks down the blue Loctite. I've heard a lot of people will just soak it overnight, come out in the morning, and the bearing pushes right out. So it's up to you. Um, I don't have very many, much patience, so this is the method that I use. All right, so that's cleaned out good enough. And now we'll prep it for the Loctite. So I just put a little dab on a Q-tip. And then like I said, it doesn't take much. Just putting a thin, thin coat on there. And that should be plenty. 
Don't want to get too much because it'll actually press out and possibly get into the bearing. So that should be enough. So lip side down this time. Okay. Now you want to get it just right. Like I said, it's really, really a tight fit. So it's easy to get it kind of cockeyed in there. So you can actually use your fingers to get it started. And you'll see it's almost all the way in at this point. So use your flat and your larger piece to push it down in. And we should be good to go. That is it. And you'll see, you can actually see some of the Loctite here. It pressed out a little bit, so that's why I have this two Q-tips. Just clean that Loctite out. Alright. I don't see any more. And I believe the cure time on the Loctite, the blue Loctite, is <clears throat> 24 hours. So there you go. It is very, very simple. Um, if you guys have any questions or suggestions, comment. But other than that, we're done.